Well, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office has released the names of those two people who were arrested for a police chase that started uh, the Safeway in Falcon and ended with multiple crashes in Colorado Springs on Friday afternoon. Brooke Macklin and Caleb Miles were arrested at the crash scene at Academy and Austin Bluffs. Miles had active warrants for several charges, including theft, motor vehicle theft, and eluding, among others. Macklin had an active warrant for failure to comply. The sheriff's office says that they also that those they are also suspects in several crimes in both the county and the city. Deputies were called to that Safeway on McLaughlin Road during the lunch hour on Friday when they spotted when someone spotted them siphoning gas from a truck in the parking lot. The pursuit ended when deputies learned that the vehicle was stolen, or began when deputies learned the vehicle was stolen. Eventually, that chase moved its way into Colorado Springs. The sheriff's office says that the driver sometimes drove on the wrong side of the road, across medians, and they also ran stop signs. The oh, 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 God. oh my God! Holy, holy. Eventually, a deputy tried to stop that vehicle at the intersection of Austin Bluffs and Barnes. The suspect drove away, hitting several cars. Another attempt was made at Seaford Boulevard before that driver, as you saw, ran the red light there at Austin Bluffs and Academy, hitting two more cars before stopping. Four sheriff's office vehicles were hit. One deputy was treated and released at the hospital for an injury. That area was shut down for several hours.